What's up guys, AJ here, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching how to call old expired listings. Now, this is one of my favorite prospecting strategies, and in this video, I'm going to show you the exact opening line that I use when calling old expireds. So first, I wanna talk about why calling old expired listings are such a great strategy. Number one, there's little to no competition. Think about it. The new expireds that are coming out every single day, they're getting 10, 15, 20 agents plus calling them first thing when it hits the market as an expired listing, right? Well, the old expireds, all the agents forgot about them. So when you're calling expireds that expired a month, two months, three months, even a year or more back, nobody else is calling them. So when you call them, it's a very easy conversation. They're not frustrated, they're not upset because they're not getting millions of calls. So they're able to have a great conversation about whether or not they still wanna sell the home. Another reason why they're awesome is on that initial call, it's not a hard sell. You're not trying hard to close for the appointment because you know somebody else is going to get it if you don't. It's more of like a conversation. Hey, how can I help? What's your motivation? Where are you at with wanting to sell the property? When might you wanna sell the property? And you start to build your nurture farm, as I call it. You're just trying to identify sellers who are looking to purchase in the future, who agree on that call to interview you when the time comes for them to sell their home. So for the most part, the script when calling old expireds is very similar to the one when calling new expireds. The only thing that I really change is the intro, the opening line. And I want you to think about when you're calling old expires that they may not have really any idea of what you're talking about when you call them, especially if they're a few years old. They might be thinking you're calling about a different house. They're, they might not know. So on that initial call, make sure you're just coming from curiosity with a lighthearted attitude. Be looking to help them. All right, so here's the opening line. Hi, I'm not sure if you can help me. My name is AJ Mida. I'm a local real estate agent, and I was just calling to see if that house that you had for sale a while back was still available or if it actually sold. So right off the bat, one of the things that you might have noticed is that I don't address them by name. I like to start a lot of my scripts with, hi, I'm not sure if you can help me, because most people generally like to help, right? And oftentimes when you're calling expireds, old expireds, you're not getting the, the correct phone number or maybe you're getting the phone number of a relative. And when you ask by name, a lot of times it's a little awkward. So if you just go with, hey, I'm not sure if you can help me, it's more of coming from curiosity, opens up the conversation, and I've just found that they're more receptive to give you the information that you're looking for, maybe the correct number for the property owner, and especially with old expireds, sometimes the house has already sold, so you're getting the new owner. So it's just a great opening line that's really creating curiosity. Another thing that I want you to do in that opening line is kind of just say, hey, hey, I'm not sure if you can help me, but I was calling on the house that you sold a while back. So you kind of like make it a lighthearted feel like, hey, I'm just calling on the house you had for sale a while back. I'm not sure if it's still available or if it actually sold. So you're just approaching the call with good energy, a lighthearted feel, and just creating some curiosity about wanting to get that home sold. So there's four responses that you're going to get when making these types of calls. So the first response you're going to get is, hey, you have the wrong number. Typically, this is going to happen because the house already sold. You don't wanna take up a bunch of time seeing if the house already sold. It's faster just to make the call. So when you do get the wrong number, you can just follow it up with something very simple. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Just out of curiosity, do you live in X area? If they do, this could be a potential client, right? So you just simply ask, hey, well, just out of curiosity while I got you on the phone, when do you plan on buying or selling your next house? Just something like that, very simple. The second response that you're going to get is, hey, we're not selling anymore. Well, the reality is, is that they're going to sell at some point in the future, right? So you just want to continue to get motivation, see where their head's at with wanting to sell the property. And all you're going to do during this process is continue to go down the expired script. And if you guys want a free copy of my expired prospecting script book, I'll have a link in the description for a free mini course with that download included. Now the response that you're going to get is, yeah, we are actually going to sell that property next year. We're going to sell it in six months. We're going to sell it in two years. Whatever the response is, you wanna to go to your nurture script. You wanna add them to your nurture farm. You wanna get the exact timeline and you wanna be sure that they'll interview you when the time is right. So you say something very simple, hey, awesome, you're gonna sell in two years. So once you get the general time frame of when they wanna sell, you just say something very simple. This is what I call the nurture script. Just out of curiosity, do you have an agent that you're going to be using when you list the property? Or would you be open to interviewing me? You just wanna get confirmation that they don't, they're not obligated to another agent and that they will in fact interview you. And then you just put them in the lead follow-up sequence, which will be the next video of this series. And the fourth response is that they do need to sell now. 
And this is going to be more rare because you're calling old expireds. You're just kind of catching them out of the blue. But I can guarantee you when you make enough calls, when you're being consistent with your prospecting, there will be times when you just call the prospect and they're like, yeah, you know what? We were actually just talking about it. We want to get the property on the market next week. And they won't have an agent. And you book the appointment and you go list it. It's that simple, guys. Those are the four main responses. So if you're newer to calling expireds, or newer to the seller prospecting idea, start with the old expireds. It's a simple call. If you haven't been prospecting for a while and you jump right into the new expireds, you're going to get a lot of rejection. You're going to be dealing with a lot of frustrated sellers. And you're going to be going up against other agents who are calling them who have been doing it for years and are very skilled at it. Now, I'm not saying that you should avoid it completely. I'm not saying that you should be um, fearful of doing it. However, if you start there, you may lose motivation because you're getting a lot of rejection without much results. So I would spend just the first 30 days of your prospecting journey to call an old expireds. You're going to get really good with the scripts. And while you're going through this process, make sure you get some role play partners. Make sure you're practicing scripts outside of making the calls. And if you do that, in those first 30 days, you're going to build your confidence. You're going to take some listings. And by the time you get to the new expireds after the 30 days, you have the confidence, you increased your skill set, and now you can compete with the other agents who are calling the new expireds. The most important thing that you can remember when prospecting is the fortune is in the follow-up. And in the next video, I'm going to be doing it all on follow-up. So this is part of a 10-part series, and this is episode six. So right here popping up on the screen, click that if you wanna see the entire playlist of all the expired prospecting training series that I'm doing. And guys, if this video was helpful to you, please subscribe to the channel. Give it a like. If you have any questions, definitely post them in the comments. And just as a reminder, I created a complete expired prospecting mini series on this link in the description with all the scripts that I've used to just crush it with expired listings. So go check that out and I'll see you in the next video.